Hey everybody, I'm back with a new video. I know it's been a little while, but uh, I've been really busy as well as I've been trying to do a lot more trading and learning more so that I can put out more videos for everyone that's new. Um, so I've been getting a lot of questions about how to set up uh, a Hugo's FX demo account and have it connected to uh, your MetaTrader 4. Uh, there's also another way where you can just Go on to MetaTrader 4 and use uh, the Hugo's FX uh, gateway to make an account. So I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. And if you have any questions, be sure to reach out to uh, your leader or um, the person that signed you up. Um, so I'm just going to turn up my volume here so that no one can disturb us. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, I'm going to pull up... Um, the phone and we're going to uh, let's see if I can highlight some stuff here so we're gonna click on here this area right here where it says MetaTrader 4 so we're gonna click on that guy and we're going to add uh, an account so we're gonna open up a, a demo account here and we're going to look up Hugo's way and as you can see I Oh, wow, I can't spell. Sorry, guys. Okay, so as you can see, it's very finicky with how you spell it. But uh, as you can see right here, uh, you can see the demo. So we'll click on that. You're going to put in your name. So whatever you want your name to be. And uh, you're going to put in your phone number and your email. And... I guess I'll just make one right now just so you guys can see what it looks like. We'll just do uh, Johnny4x. And uh, I guess I got to use my number here. And we'll put in an email and uh, account. As you can see, we got the Hugo FX. And we're going to do the leverage. As you can see, there are multiple kinds of leverage. You got one to one, one to 10, one to 25. If you don't understand what the leverage is, be sure to look it up. If you guys want me to make a video on explaining some leverages and what other uh, brokers have or explain a little bit more on it, let me know down in the comments and I'll consider making a video. Um, if you're following along with Bass and uh, if you're making some steady trades, I would highly recommend you use 1 to 200 uh, if you're beginning. If you're just going to use Bass's strategy and you're not going to use anybody else's, I would recommend one to 500 because that's what he recommended on his channel. Um, and just for people that are unaware, uh, Bass is a Dutch trader who uh, makes five trades every day. Uh, and for every hundred dollars in your account, you are supposed to use only 1%. So if it's a hundred dollars, it's 0 0.01. So it'd be one cent. Uh, so you would choose the leverage of one to 500 right there. And then, uh, you can choose the amount that you want. Um, a lot of people that are starting off will choose 3000. If you are looking to put in the amount that you are actually going to need to use. So say for instance, for me, I signed up with $500 right off the bat. Um, I went, you can go into Hugo's FX and start a demo account through them and you can choose the leverage and the actual amount that you want to put in. I know on, if you use it on MetaTrader 4, the lowest amount is 3000, but if you go on to Hugo's FX, you can actually make it much smaller if you want. Uh, so for me, I made a $500 demo account because that's what I was going to put into my account. So when I made the trades, uh, on my demo account, it was like I was making them for a real account, but it was on a demo account, right? Because if I put in $3,000 and I'm making bigger bets, so to say, because I have $3,000 as a, as a demo account, right? When you go to your main account, you may be confused because you want to use the same amount as you used with your demo account. And you don't want to do that because you'll be using your real money and it's going to be on the line. So if you make mistakes, then it's it's going to go through your account really quickly. So um, 
I'd be careful with that. If you're going to use 3000, just remember that um, if you're not going to buy it for 3000, then, uh, you know, you got to remember to use the proper leverage and the proper amount that you're going to uh, bet on the trade. So we're just going to create an account here. We're going to create the account. And as you can see, it's done. And and so when you go back to your uh, to the main page, you'll see that you have your demo account up, and it says demo in the corner, and you can click on it, and uh, you will be. As you can see, you can see your balance, your equity, and your free margin, right? So this is what uh, you have to do to set up your demo account. It's not too hard. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions or concerns or a specific video that you would like me to put out that would make it uh, much easier for you guys, let me know. And um, I can put something out like that right now. So um, just remember, uh, if you are going to be putting in $3,000, I would just do it this way. If you're going to be putting in anything less than $3,000, I think you should uh, go to Hugo FX, open up uh, um, a demo account with Hugo FX, where you can put in a lower amount if that's what you're going to do. Then you can get set up and start trading. hope everyone uh, learned something today. Everyone that's new, welcome to uh, IM Academy. And uh, I look forward to seeing some profits from everybody. Thanks again, everyone. Take care.